Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley with Haley Stitches and I'm so happy that you're here today for my fourth floss tube. Today we are going to start off looking at my whips and then I went to Michael's so you know I have to show you my mini Michael haul and after that I will show you some patterns that I purchased on Etsy to work on. Um, I went a little bit crazy, got several different patterns, a lot of different styles. So I'm excited to show you those. I think you're going to enjoy watching me work on them and hopefully be inspired to work on them yourselves. And at the end, I will show you all my quilting progress because these past couple weeks have been pretty quilt heavy. Um, I've just been drawn to those projects a little bit more. So we have some fun things at the end. So if you're interested in that, I hope you stick around and let's jump right into my stitching. So the first whip I'm going to show you is one that I haven't worked on because it's a stitch along. So this is the Serendipity Stitch Along with Fat Quarter Shop. So it looks exactly the same as last time because the next row hasn't been released yet. I believe that it's going to be released on April 1st. So right away, I'm gonna download it and get stitching on the first so I can stay caught up. I love how this is kind of a smaller pattern than some other pieces I've worked on lately. So it stitches up really quick. And I am using a 14 count Ada in navy. It has been a little bit challenging to stitch on a darker cloth. So I've only stitched on white cloth so far. So that has been kind of challenging. I think I've heard a lot of people who stitch on black cloth say that they have to, you know, like put something light behind it or maybe a window so that it's a little bit easier to see the holes. So I have been running into that, but once you get used to it, it gets a little bit easier. And I really love the dark background, so it's worth it. <laughs> and this navy Ada was recommended for the pattern and they also had a floss bundle that I purchased. So I got it all directly from their website and it shipped really quick. So this is totally something you can still join in on if you're liking the look of it. And it is releasing the same time as the quilt. So I think there's, I think it's twice a month that it is releasing. So there's plenty of time between to stay caught up. Um, as you all know, I got behind on my Sew by Row stitch along because that came out weekly and that was just a little bit too much of a commitment for me, I guess. So I am feeling hopeful about staying on track with this one. Uh, you can follow it along on Instagram with, uh, I think the hashtag is serendipity S-A-L. Uh, so serendipity stitch along. And I love going through that and seeing everybody else's projects, especially when people like change the colors and make it their own. I love that. I think it's so pretty. But I really love this pattern. When I saw the quilt pattern originally, I knew that I had to sign up for that. So I'm working on the quilt along as well. And I thought this would be really fun as a cross stitch. So I'm doing both. And my next work in progress, I know that I had a little bit going last time and I wouldn't say I have a bunch um, done because <laughs> it is really detailed. There's a lot of color changes. So this is the, so I've been titling it as a shake work, shaker patchwork pattern, but I actually looked at the pattern printout and on the bottom it says large colorful quilt. So I think there's a couple different names, but it is by Vipsters on Etsy. And as always, I'll link everything below so you guys know exactly what I'm working on and you can check it out if you want to. But this is fun because it's kind of, it's like a quilt block is what it looks like. Um, I'll throw in what the finished piece is going to look like here. So it is really fun to finish each block individually. It's kind of like a goal. <laughs> so this was the first one. Um, let's see if you can see it good. I did update the settings on my, camp, uh, my phone. I record on my phone so I'm hoping that everything is looking really clear for you guys and hopefully better quality um, we had so beautiful there's so much depth with all the different colors there and then this is kind of the second block I'm working on is just gonna be like these four patches all the way around and really really bright vibrant colors I love that so much so this is pretty much going to take up this entire fabric um, so yeah, maybe more of a tapestry, I guess, 
but it's gonna be really big. Um, I have not decided where it's gonna go in my house yet, but I am, you know, it'll fit in somewhere. <laughs> and I know that I said I was gonna have my gallery wall ready for you all today, and I don't. <laughs> I just need to plan it all out and get it hung up. So you will be the first to know when I do it, and I'm totally gonna put it on Instagram as well. So follow me at Haley Stitches on Instagram if you want to. <laughs> maybe get a notification when I finally have that up. Um, cross our fingers for next floss tube in two weeks. So that is it for my works in progress. Like I said, I didn't have a ton going on for cross stitch, but I really went wild this weekend looking for new cross stitch patterns because as I was stitching the past couple of weeks, I was like, oh, well, like I actually have to kind of you know, push myself to get some more things going for my floss tube. If I want to share things with you, I have to actually work on things. So I purchased, I think like five or six new patterns on Etsy. And then I went to Michael's to get the floss for some of those patterns. So the first thing I wanted to show you all was kind of what I got from Michael's. So I'm working on an upcoming like beginner cross stitcher series that's going to be very very in depth it's kind of going to be exactly what i was wanting to find on youtube when i was starting and there are a ton of really good uh tutorials out there but the one that i'm going to do is kind of um, i'm going to use a free pattern and go through the whole thing on camera and the first part is going to be kind of you know, getting the bare minimum supplies that you need in order to cross stitch and showcase exactly what they look like. Um, I know when I was first going into a store, I was really overwhelmed and I think it's helpful when you show like the packages that the cloth actually comes in because you know, you a lot of the times just see like a pre-cut cloth uh, similar, similar to something that would come in a cross stitch kit uh, when you're looking at these tutorial videos. But if you're wanting to purchase the supplies individually, not as a kit, it can be kind of confusing right away. So that's my goal with that series is really just to do it extremely in depth, um, long form tutorial so that people who want something longer than like five or 10 minutes can really get that. And it's only gonna have like the bare minimum things that you need to know to start and finish a cross stitch pattern. There is so much out there, <laughs> so many fun things, but it can be overwhelming as a beginner when you start learning about, you know, even we even linen and the counts of the fabric and the different size needles and fancy floss and you all know exactly what I'm talking about. So because I am a beginner, I'm still fresh and remember exactly what I wish existed when I was learning. So I'm hoping to create that for some of you beginners out there that are looking for a tutorial like that. And hopefully for people who stumble upon cross stitch one day and head to YouTube to try to learn how to do it exactly like I did. Okay, so that was a really long way to tell you that I got some <laughs> supplies for new patterns. So the first thing I want to show you is the Ada cloth that I picked up. For the beginner series that I'm working on, I needed a 14 count Ada. I actually was looking for the Michaels brand uh, loops and threads, but they were completely out of white Ada. So I ended up getting this DMC, um, what is it called? Charles Craft Ada. So this is the only 14 count that they had at the store. So I just picked this up. Um, it comes up rolled up, which is cool. The Ada that I have been working on, I just bought from Fat Quarter Shop because that's where I typically get a lot of my quilting supplies and I was already making a big order. So I just threw in some cross stitch stuff there originally. Um, and they sell, well, they sell a variety, but the ones that I bought was uh, witch oat fabric and that actually comes folded up into a square so you're kind of already starting off with the creases and <laughs> I was so silly I unfolded it all I ironed it <laughs> I don't know why I ironed it and then I started working on it and then I got it got all crumply again obviously so I was like why did I waste all this time trying to get all <laughs> these creases out of this anyways so I like the idea of it coming rolled up I think that's cool so um, this is the weight 14 count Ada and then I also got a couple of 16 count Ada so this is the loose and threads brand so this is Michael's like in-house brand 
I love this brand. I think that they do a really good job, especially their yarn. Um, I know that Exige MD uses a lot of their yarn. Um, so Michael's must be really popular in Canada as well. But the reason I, I live like right by Minneapolis. So um, we have a lot of different craft store options, but I actually enjoy going to Michael's for cross stitch supplies. They have a bigger variety than the Joann's that I frequent. Um, so that, that's kind of the only reason why <laughs> I'm like partial to Michael's is because I think they have a really good selection. So this is, yeah, like I said, eight, and this is 16 count. So I got two of these because the patterns that I picked up on Etsy called for 16 count and that was kind of the size that I wanted to do. Um, I haven't stitched on 16 count yet. I have stitched on 14 count and actually my, I didn't say this before, but um, this one that I'm working on is DMC thread and this is actually 18 count. So it's been um, maybe a little bit more challenging with 18 count, but I haven't noticed like a huge difference at all. If anything, you know, I could have got a different needle size that correlates with the 18 count fabric, but my size 24 tapestry needle has worked just fine for me. So I'm going to continue to use that obviously when or if or ever <laughs> I get into smaller fabrics, um, higher count fabrics, then I will readjust my needles. But for now it's working just fine. So I am really excited to see the difference between all of these. So the DMC, the loops and threads, the witch ult that I have been working on. I don't have an unopened package to show you. Um, you know, I'll throw up a picture right here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And then I went to Amazon as well to see what they have for Ada. And I was just like in a pinch because I wanted to work on something, but I didn't have any extra fabric. And it was just a test thing for um, a pattern I'm designing for myself for my gallery wall. And I found this brand that had really good reviews. It's called Simulane. And this is a 14 count Ada. And I just got it from Amazon. Um, there's actually, okay, so let's see. Here. There's six pieces of Ada cloth, 12 by 18 inch. So this was like a really, really good deal. Almost so that I was wary of purchasing it um, because I, I didn't know what the quality was going to be like, and but the price was almost like too good where I had to just get it. And a lot of the comments or reviews were saying like the same thing that I was thinking like, oh, I was really wary of this, but it was totally worth it. So I have not opened this yet <laughs> and I... We'll maybe one day do like a complete review of the Ada that I think is quote unquote best, you know, like the white Ada. I think when I'm looking for an Ada, I want something that's pretty stiff because it's easier to work with. And I also want like a bright white. Um, this does not look bright white to me. I know it's probably hard for you to tell. It almost has like a bluish tint. So it's hard to know if that is the wrapping that it's in or if it actually is tinted. So let me just open it up real quick. This is what we're working with. This is 12 by 18. And um, let me compare it. Let me compare it to the other one that I'm working on. So yeah, this is a really blue. Um, I don't know, you guys can tell. This is the Wishelt Ada and this is the Similane Ada I got from Amazon. So there is such a big difference here. Like. Wow, that's pretty intense. Like you can totally see that this is not white. This is almost blue, which I don't hate. I do think there would be like a time and a place to have uh, Ada that is like this. And I wonder if you did a whole project, if you would even notice, like you probably might not even notice when it's all done. I mean, obviously if it's like full coverage, you definitely wouldn't notice. I will use it eventually. <laughs> I just don't know when and yeah, I might do, like I said, a review of the different types of Ada, um, what would be like the most beginner friendly, obviously whatever you have access to, but if there's a choice, um, I wonder which one I would prefer the most. And mm, if someone else has already done it, let me know. <laughs> I can just reference them and I don't have to do it myself, but I will be working on all of these. So I might as well let you all know what I think. 
uh, I would love to know what you guys think, like what your favorite Ada is. Um, I know a lot of you Flastubers don't work on Ada <laughs> and that's totally fine. I hope I am there one day, but for the beginners and for the people who like the bigger holes or, you know, just how it looks, um, I would really love to know like what you love about Ada and what type you prefer, like what brand do you like, what count do you like, you know, let me know because I'll try it out. I'll try anything out. Okay, so I got all that Ada fabric from Michaels. I also got some more wooden hoops for some videos that I'm going to be posting. And I also got some needles. So, geez, it's really sunny out today. So I always film in front of a window, so I hope this isn't like just totally blown out. This is ooh, 24 needles by DMC. So these work well with the 14 count Ada, which is why I bought them. I already have some, but I bought some more for the video. And I went so wild with floss, you guys. I pulled, I downloaded all the patterns and I got like almost all the floss I needed for all of them. And I wish I had like a bucket or something, but this is really wild. So this is all, <laughs> this is all the floss I got. And there was a really funny story. I just, and there's not even a good way to show you all, but you know, here, <laughs> this is, here it is. <laughs> and um, there's a funny story because it was just me and this other woman in kind of the like cross-stitch embroidery aisle at Michael's and we both were getting like <laughs> huge amounts of floss and she was saying how <laughs> she has like every single color at home and was restocking and we just had a kind of a fun banter going back and forth so I had a nice bonding moment in real life with someone who does cross-stitching or embroidery and that was enjoyable. So I am so excited to work with all of this and uh, get it organized somehow and throw it in my cart <laughs> for now. So I keep talking about all these patterns that I'm going to be working on, but now I want to go through each one and show you all because they are awesome. I love them. I'm really excited to stitch on them. And I have like a good variety of like full coverage or ones that are not going to take very long at all so it'll be like nice like palette cleansers in between like the huge projects that I'm always so drawn to. Okay so the first pattern that I got is called Let Me Overthink About It. It's by Jaeger and Yarn on Etsy. Let me put in a photo here. And I just thought this was so perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun in my office. Um, anybody like knows me this is definitely me it's gonna be a quick one hopefully to stitch and it'll be super cute hanging up in here somewhere <laughs> the next pattern that I purchased is like a floral pattern it's by stitching land on Etsy and I just love the colors of this one I think they're so vibrant and fun Plus the pattern calls for a mint Ada. So I, you know, like I said, I had a little bit of trouble stitching on the navy Ada for my serendipity pattern, but I think the mint one will be pretty easy to work on because it's a light color. So if you know where to get some mint Ada, <laughs> let me know. And I purchased another kind of floral bouquet one with really bright, vibrant colors. I think I'm really drawn to that right now because it's like spring is coming and it's gonna be summer soon. This pattern is by 2x2 Stitch Art, and I think it's so fun. I'm really excited to do it. I know that these kind of floral bouquets are so popular with embroidery, and I don't see them very often with cross-stitch, so I am excited to kind of take that over to, to cross-stitch. I mean, I see a lot of patterns like that, but I don't think that I've seen a lot of finished projects on Instagram or on floss tubes or anything. So I'm very, very excited about this one. I think it's gonna be really fun and a little bit challenging with all the different color changes. Next, I got a pattern by Junebug and Darlin on Etsy. It is so cute. I'm gonna hang it in my front room, maybe like our porch, but it says home sweet home. It's just a really sweet one. I saw it and was instantly drawn to it for some reason. So I knew I had to just buy it because my eye was drawn to it. So I think it's going to be just really cute to hang in our house, like not in my office, but incorporate it into our decor. 
um, like I said, hope maybe in our porch. Like I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to film in my porch because it gets a ton of natural light. It's kind of fun in there. And you know, it's only like 40 degrees outside right now, but when it gets warmer, um, I'll probably take my boss tube out there and give you maybe a change of scenery. <laughs> the last pattern or patterns I should say is by Stitches Lover Shop on Etsy. And these are a bunch of national parks. So my husband and I are planning on a vacation in the fall for our anniversary and his birthday. And we're gonna hit up some of the national parks uh, out west. And I just thought this would be a fun one. I love the little scenes. There's 11 different ones that I'm gonna be stitching. So this will be like a really long-term project, but I bought the floss for two of the patterns and they are full coverage, but it's pretty small, um, well, <laughs> relative to some of the other projects I've been working on, but the, the hoop size is not too big. So I think it's gonna be manageable and I think it'll be really fun to stitch and kind of make a collage on the wall somewhere. Next, I wanna show you all some quilting I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. So the first thing I wanna show you is my progress on the Serendipity Quilt Along. So like I said, I'm doing the cross stitch and the quilt. So I did finish the first row of the quilt and the second row will come out on April 1st. So I'll be busy stitching and quilting that one away. And I'm really hoping to stay on track. I've never done a quilt along before and this one goes quite a while. So I am hopeful, like I said, <laughs> about this uh, cross stitch. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to stay on track for the quilt. Okay, so it's really long. I'm not gonna get it all in the frame, um, but it is exactly the same as the cross stitch. So these are really fun blocks. The fabric is Spring Brook by Cory Yoder. And I did purchase the quilt kit from the Fat Quarter Shop. So it came with everything that I needed. I didn't have to worry about anything else. And it's so cute. Look at this fabric close up. <laughs> Little bees, so cute. I love it. So this is all done. It is an inch shorter, oops, than what the pattern is supposed to be. So I'll just, I don't know stretch it and <laughs> hopefully it'll be fine. If not, I think I'll just take out the sashing, like these, let me show you, these blue strips and then just, you know, sew it a little bit, not as much. Um, I did just get a new quarter inch. Well, let me show you. Okay, so I did just get a new quarter inch foot for my machine. And this one has like a guide on it. So this thing, so the fabric won't go past that point. And I'm hoping that will help. Like this is the quarter inch foot that I was using before. So like you can see there's no guide or anything. Um, and clearly the, you know, if it's too small, then I'm stitching past the quarter inch amount because my seams are getting cut off. Just the tiniest bit though, like look how many seams are in this all the way down, all of these little guys. So it's just slight, like not even a 16th of an inch off. It's just the slightest amount off. And it makes such a big difference when you're piecing these intricate things. So yeah, I really do need to work on that. Um, scant quarter inch tips, let me know. <laughs> I have done a lot of reading and research and I just keep blaming it on my machine even though I know it's not my machine's fault totally. It's an affordable machine and it's just not working for me anymore. So I am really excited to get a new one and I also am planning on posting like a review of my singer tradition because I know that it can be, it is really popular for like brand new people to sewing. So are like the brother machines that intro, intro like brother machines are really popular as well. And I don't have a brother machine, so I can't really speak on that. But I know that my singer has, you know, it's got me through this far and it helped me learn how to sew and quilt. So I'm thankful for that. But I do think it is time to move on to, you know, things that have what I need. You know, bigger throat space is definitely number one. And I really 
just need something that's gonna make quilting go faster and something more powerful and you know a hundred dollar machine isn't gonna do everything that a thousand dollar machine will so hopefully before the end of the year i will have a new machine to introduce to you all the next quilt i want to show you is a totally complete quilt top this is the greenhouse pattern by elizabeth hartman if you've been following me on instagram if you've seen my previous quilting videos then you know i've been working on this one for quite a while and it is completely done this is gonna be the first quilt that i've ever sent out to be long armed so i'm excited about that because i definitely cannot easily quilt a quilt this size on my home machine which we just covered <laughs> so let me show you what the finished product looks like So I know that's not so easy to see, um, I, <laughs> I tried, it's just, it's just so large, but the fabric that I used is Folktail by Layla Boutique, and there's all these, you know, I showed you all this before, but they're so cute. I do think that the sashing is not great on this. Um, I did a lot of like stretching and pulling because like I said, my quarter inch seam is not perfect. So, uh, and I was out of the sashing fabric, so I couldn't make it any longer, oops. Don't cut your sashing before the final look thing. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, but I won't be making that mistake again. I might take it all apart and redo it. I just haven't decided yet. Like, I don't wanna be like embarrassed about sending a quilt to a long armor because I hear other people do that. And I'm just like, oh, just send it, like who cares? But I do need it to be flat so that they're able to work on it. So I don't know. I might have to send her a picture and just be like, oh, <laughs> is this gonna be okay? Cause to me, I notice it, but you know, like we always say, it'll quilt out, it'll be fine. So who knows, but I am really excited for this one to be completely done. This will be a wall hanging, hopefully, in our living room. We have the wall above our couch is completely bare. So it'll be a perfect size for that actually. And I am just really happy that it's done. I'm really proud of myself. It is the most intricate quilt that I've done so far. And um, Elizabeth Herman patterns are really easy to follow. I did have to read it through several times just to, like get a grasp because the format was a little bit different than what I'm used to, but it, it was extremely detailed and, um, you know, I didn't have to ask anybody questions. I was able to figure it out on my own. So that made me feel good. I'm really proud of this quilt. The last quilty thing that I've done that is finished is I'm sure you all have seen the My Favorite Color is Moda color panels that have been around. Um, I got one in my February 2021 sew sampler box from Fat Quarter Shop and I they came out with, like, with a free pattern for it for the panel and then they had some fat ace in there as well. So I finished that project. It was really quick and I think it's super cute. I'm gonna hang it in here. Hello, I sound like a broken record. <laughs> I'm gonna hang it in my office and um, it'll be like a really fun wall hanging uh, reference kind of and the colors are not exact so if you want to use this as reference like only use it as reference do not use it for exact coloring because I do have the Bella solids card and they it just it, it's close but it's definitely not great for color matching it's better to just invest in the card and I had to do that like right away because we were you know, everything was shut down. I couldn't go anywhere in person. So I was ordering all my fabric online. So after a couple of tries and not getting the correct colors, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna invest in this thing. I know it is a little bit expensive, but it's so, so worth it. Trust me, it is so worth it. So let me show you what this thing looks like all together. I love the rainbow effect of it. I think it is so cute. This was my first time doing flying geese. So that was fun to learn. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, my sizing was not like perfect. So if I was doing a bunch of these, I definitely need to work on it. But for the border, it worked out totally fine. Again, this one turned out a little bit smaller <laughs> than the pattern calls for, which, you know, it's totally fine for me. Um, the reason why was because I found it really challenging to actually trim the panel. So in the pattern, it said to trim the panel a little bit, 
that it wasn't like an inch off each side. It was really kind of complicated math. So, and it, the panel obviously is way bigger than my cutting board here. So personally, that was a bit of a challenge, but it was so fun. And I've seen so many people do really cute things with these panels. People have been making them into tote bags. Um, Lily from Fat Quarter Shop made it into a dress, which is so cute. People have made them into pin cushions and sewing machine covers and every single thing you can think of, which is so creative. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I like to keep it as like one piece because I think it's really cool the way that they did that. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I kind of love it. So I think it's going to be super fun to have in my room and bring more color to this space. Okay, everybody, that is everything that I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like it, please subscribe to my channel. Both of those things help me so much. So I really, really, really appreciate all of you that are here watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.